a nine month old girl is brought to your pediatric clinic by her parents who noticed that she has been increasingly irritable underline this word increasingly irritable less than one year of age sex is a girl increasingly irritable you have to underline increasingly irritable over here her mother also tells you that she has noticed some stiff and jerky movements of the child's extremities history stiff and jerky movements of the child's extremities now on physical examination you discover that the patient is small for her age and has hyperactive deep tendon reflexes hyperactive deep tendon reflexes and marked hamstring rigidity so the buzzword is hyperactive deep tendon reflexes marked hamstring rigidity is not uh, that much important but hyperactive deep tendon reflexes history of stiff and jerky movements less than 1 year of age sex is a girl all these are the important clue for our case and her suck reflex is also quite weak which says that you know the patient is very very lethargic her suck reflex is also quite weak means a severe muscular weakness we can say and laboratory serum studies also within normal limits so you mention like lab values normal and you begin to wonder whether this child might suffer from a leukodystrophy disorder already i told you the answer of this case leukodystrophy disorder with demyelination in the central nervous system now tell me what's the case is very very important case for your mle crabby's disease so we'll see how to identify this one the biochemical defect of the crabbies is the galactosyl ceramidase autosomal recessive disorder caused by the deficiency of the enzyme galactosyl ceramidase which is also called as galactosyl ceramide beta galactosidase enzyme name galactosyl ceramidase or galactosyl ceramide beta galactosidase we know that this is also a lysosomal enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of galactosyl ceramide to ceramide which means it removes the galactosyl moiety from the galactosyl ceramide to form ceramide during sphingolipid catabolism so when this enzyme is deficit or deficient there is an accumulation of galactosyl ceramide which is a galactosyl sphingosine in the brain right one highlighted organ for the crabbies leading to neuronal damage especially of the white matter so there will be a white matter globoid cells on gross pathology sometimes they may use these words in the case white matter globoid pathology in the gross pathology and there is a demyelination demyelination so the clinical manifestations are evident in this case for optic atrophy that causes blindness in the case we already saw that she does not have much of a startle reflex suggesting possible dimness to visual or hearing acuity and other important point we mentioned increasingly irritable right and stiff and jerky movements in the child extremities so there will be optic atrophy compulsory they have to give you in the crabbies that causes blindness deafness but not all the cases so they will give you the visual acuity but uh, here the hearing acuity they gave in this case but it is not compulsory that you have to identify that in the case so deafness spasticity or paralysis but when compared to that of both spasticity is seen in 80% of the cases and paralysis is only seen in 20% of the cases 
So spasticity is the predominant uh, one in the crabbies. That's the reason you see here that the stiff and jerky movements of the child extremities is the spasticity. Mental retardation and seizures. This is the differential diagnosis. And if you see the age of the crabbies, nine months. Every one of you answered like it is a metachromatic leukodystrophy, but metachromatic leukodystrophy always presented by the above age of 24 months, two years. Majority of the case symptomatology. And Krabby's disease always below the age of one. 